studying concussions are so complex due to the inherent variability of just how the injury occurs. Currently, the best method is looking at the subjective way of just asking the person how they're feeling, where that leads to a lot of bias in the answers. Where our study here, we're looking at trying to make objective quantification. So how does the brain respond? How is your balance changing? How is your brain able to regulate its blood flow? Those ones are just present in the body and we want to be able to quantify them so we can get an objective marker of concussion. The main focus of my research here at the Concussion Research Lab is to look at how the brain regulates its blood flow and how that's disrupted following a concussion, whether that be acutely, chronically with a history of concussions, or as in the context of this study, subacutely with head impacts due to soccer heading. So if we're seeing subtle variations without protective headgear on, we want to be able to quantify how those changes are mitigated with the protective headgear, which hopefully can help reduce the impact of concussions globally. I think the work that John is doing is really important because it's helping to reduce the incidence of concussion in contact sports. So by developing a better helmet and working to make those sports safer, we can make sure that kids are continuing to enjoy and get all the positive benefits associated with playing those types of sports. I'm passionate about concussion research because I have had three in my past. Being knocked out, playing rugby, and having bike accidents. So it actually is near and dear to my heart that we want to find out what's going on and how we can help. The fundings I've received from the Innovations and Wellness Fund have enabled me to not only just do mechanistic research of what's happening, but also working with a community partner that can take our findings and make meaningful changes globally so that we can help develop better helmet liners, develop different materials for making soccer helmets, which can actually go into the field and make real impacts by preventing some people from getting concussions. The broader scope of our research can actually be applied to improving helmet liners in hockey or football which if we can get a better product to help prevent people's brain injuries from happening or protect them from when they do occur, then it can make a better impact in a lot of people's lives and hopefully save some people from the ramifications that do occur post-concussion.